what's going on guys welcome back to another video today's video is a very quick and easy tutorial on final cut pro we're going to be looking at how to multicam edit in final cut pro now uh, this is something that i've recently started doing on my videos and um, it's just one of those things that i thought to myself i had an extra few cameras on the side and i thought eh, why not it's a little bit extra work to do but you know, it makes the um, overall end product a bit better. So this is actually a video that I recently uploaded on my channel. If you haven't already checked that out, make sure that you do. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you are. Make sure to hit that bell icon to also get notified when I upload new videos. Now let's get straight into this tutorial. So basically the way this works is that, so you shoot your two shots or two angles separately as you'd normally do. Personally, I always shoot my audio externally so that gives me three things to um, to combine in a compound clip. So I'll go ahead and just create a new project here. So I'll just name it Multicam. Leave everything else the same. That doesn't matter for now. So we've got our project here. We've got our empty uh, magnetic timeline. So I'll go down and here are our two angles. So this is the first clip, which was our first angle. And here's the second angle, which is our second clip. However, we also have our audio track here, which was recorded on my uh, Zoom H4 with an external uh, shotgun microphone. So normally what I would do if I just had a single angle is I'd click on that and then I'll click on my audio file and then I'll synchronize those clips and what Final Cut would then do is it would basically just align the audios off the camera and the um, external audio as well. Now with multicam editing it's pretty much the exact same process except that this time you select your angles so you, you select your picture shots and then your audio track and then you right click and then you go to new multicam clip. Now we'll just name this multi cam one and uh, we also want to use the audio for synchronization and we'll click OK. So now what Final Cut has done is it's basically taken those two video clips and it synchronized them using the audio and then at the very end it's also synchronized the external audio to those clips. So we have our multicam clip here. The only problem though is that if I play this back you will hear that the audio sounds terrible and only one angle is being shown. Basically, if we now open this compound clip, inside here, you'll see that we've got our camera picture angle A, and we've got our camera picture angle B. It's named untitled at the moment, but we could just name it B like that. And um, the way to interpret this is as follows. So this highlighted icon here basically shows the current angle that is being displayed. So what this does is it basically shows which camera angle is active at the moment. And right next to it is a picture of this audio icon, which also shows which audio angle is currently being listened to. And you can confirm this by going back out of the compound clip. And if you click on the compound clip and you go to your infos pane, you will see that the active video angle is angle A and the active audio angle is audio a. So if we go back in here, what I usually generally do is that because I don't want the internal audio from my cameras because it's of course terrible. So I'll just mute these to infinity. So basically we're only left with our um, recorded external audio track right here. So if I go back out, you will notice now something weird has happened. So our audio track has completely disappeared from the from the file altogether. We'll get to that in a minute. So the first thing you need to know about multicam editing in Final Cut is that to get the interface that you're looking for, you first wanna go to view and then you wanna go to your angles. Now I had closed this because it was initially open when I first opened Final Cut, but by default it won't. So you wanna go to angles and then you have this interface over here. So basically what this interface means is that we've got our two camera angles, basically angle A and angle B. So the one that's highlighted is the one that is currently being displayed. Very simply, all you have to do is scrub through your timeline and at the point at which you want to switch your angles, you simply just click which angle you want. And you will notice that Final Cut will create this checkpoint. And that is basically your checkpoint showing you this is the point at which you switched your angle. You can confirm this as well. If you click on this clip, you will notice that the active angle is A, active audio is A. But then if we scrub to the next clip, our um, picture angle has switched to B now, 
but our active audio angle is still stuck on A. This is something that Final Cut does. I don't know why it does it, but uh, basically if you have multiple video angles, it will also automatically assume that you also have multiple audio tracks and it basically won't by default select one of those tracks as the default track. So when I first started doing this is what I would actually do is that I would switch my camera angles. So I'd scrub through my entire timeline, switching my angles like that, switching through all of them. But then I'll individually have to go back to each one and switch to you know the external audio however i am glad to report that you do not have to do that and there is a very quick and easy way to fix that so if you come up here at the top you see you've got these three icons here hover over the the first one it says enable video and audio switching which is what final cut is set to by default and then next to it you've got enable video only switching and next to that you've got enable audio only switching so by default final cut will be set to this mode which is the mode where it basically assumes that for every angle that you're switching to, you will be switching your audio track, which is not the case for us and you know the way that I'm editing. So what you wanna do is switch to that one. So what that will now do is that it will basically always default to one audio track. But then now you will notice, so our audio track is back and you'll notice that, so unfortunately, so for okay so if i pause it there and i switch to angle b you'll notice that our audio hasn't disappeared and now you can basically switch all your angles and um, go through your video just like so switching your angles whenever you want to and your audio track will remain the same so yeah guys that is basically how to multicam edit in final cut pro as you can see it's not quite the same as in other nle editing software it is quite different but i kind of like the way final cut handles it it's very intuitive and it's very easy to use if you enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when i upload new videos i really hope that you guys enjoyed this uh type of tutorial and uh, let me know if you guys want me to make more videos like this i'll catch you folks in the next one